All right, so we're still in custom vision. Let's go ahead and try out object detection. So object detection is when you can identify uh, particular items in a scene. Um, and so this one's gonna be combat, that's what we're gonna call it, because we're gonna try to detect combat. We have more domains here. We're gonna stick with the general A1. And uh, we'll go ahead and create this project here. And so uh, what we need to do is add a bunch of images. I'm gonna go ahead and create our tag, which is gonna be called com badge. Uh, you could look for multiple different kinds of labels, but then you need a lot of images. So we're just gonna keep it simple and have that there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add some images and we're gonna go back um, a couple steps here into our objects. And here I have a bunch of photos and we need exactly 15 to train. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And so I threw an additional image in here. This is the badge test. So we'll leave that out and we'll see if that picks up really well. And yeah, we got them all here. And so we'll go ahead and upload those and we'll hit upload files. Okay. And we'll say done. And we can now begin to label. So we'll click into here. And what I wanna do, if you hover over, it should start detecting things. If it doesn't, you can click and drag. We'll Click this one, they're all com badges, so we're not gonna tag anything else here, okay? So go here, hover over, is it gonna give me the com badge? No, so I'm just dra clicking and dragging to get it, okay? Okay, did we get this com badge? Yes. Did we get this one? Yep. It's as simple as that. Okay, it doesn't always get it, but uh, most cases it does. Okay, didn't get that one, so we'll just drag it out. Okay, it's not getting that one. It's interesting, like that one's pretty clear, but uh, it's interesting what it picks out and what does what it does not grab, eh? So it's not getting this one, probably because the photo doesn't have enough contrast. And this one has a lot. Hoping that that gives us more data to work with here. Yeah, I think the higher the contrast, it's easier for it to uh, um, detect those. It's not getting that one. It's not getting that one. Okay, there we go. Yes, there are a lot. I know I have some of these ones that are packed, but there's only like three photos that are like this. Yeah, they have badges, but they're slightly different. So we're gonna leave those out. Oops, I think it actually had that one, but we'll just tag it anyway. And hopefully this will be worth the, uh, the effort here. There we go. I think that was the last one. Okay, great. So we have all of our tagged photos and what we can do is go ahead and train the model. Same option, quick training, advanced training. We're gonna do a quick training here and notice that the options are slightly different. We have probability threshold and then we have overlap threshold. So the minimum percentage of overlap between predicted bounding boxes and ground truth boxes to be considered for correct prediction. So I'll see you back here when it is done. All right, so after waiting a little bit of while here, it looks like um, it's done, it's trained. And so precision's at 75%. So precision, the number will tell you if a tag is predicted uh, by your model, how likely that it's likely to be. So how likely did it guess right? Then you have recall. So the number will tell you out of the tags, which should be predicted correctly, what percentage did your model correctly find? So we have 100%. Uh, and then you have mean average precision. This number will tell you the overall object detector performance across all the tags, okay? So uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, do a quick test on this model and we'll see how it does. I can't remember if I actually even ran this, so it'll be curious to see. The first one here, um, it, it's not as clearly visible. It's part of their uh, uniform, so I'm not expecting it to pick it up, but we'll see what it does. It picks up uh, pretty much all of them, with the exception this one is definitely not a comp badge, but uh, that's okay. Only show suggests obviously the probabilities above the selected threshold. So if we increase it, uh, we'll just bring it down a bit. So there it kind of improves it um, if we move it around back and forth, okay? So I imagine that via the API, we could choose that. Let's go look at our other sample image here. Um, I'm not seeing it. 
Uh, where did I save it? <laughs> Let me just double check, make sure that it's in the uh, correct directory here. Okay. Yeah, I saved it to the wrong place. Just a moment. Um, I will place it. We'll just call that badge test two. One second. Okay, and so I'll just browse here again. And so here we have another one. Let's see if it picks up the badge right here. There we go. So looks like it works. So uh, yeah, I guess Custom Vision is uh, pretty easy to use and uh, pretty darn good. So what we'll do is close this off and make our way back to our Jupiter uh, Labs to move on to um, our, our next uh, lab here, okay?